everyone, welcome to another fun-filled lesson of Actual English with me, Jennifer Clyde. It is always a pleasure to have you joining me. It's time for lesson 11, and today we'll be focusing on sleep habits. Throughout the week, we'll take a look at all different kinds of habits we have, such as sleep habits, which is today's topic, eating habits, childhood habits, you know, the habits that you've broken, or the childhood habits that you still have till this day, and much more. So, let's begin by talking about sleep or sleeping habits. What kind of habits do you have? Well, to tell you a bit about myself, I do not have insomnia. I tend to go to bed very late at night, and I am definitely not a morning person. I'm not an early bird, which means I tend to sleep in, sleep until the late hours in the morning. And if I don't do so, I can't really function well during the day. So I can concentrate a lot more on everything I do during the day if I get at least eight or nine hours of sleep a day. So what are you like? Maybe about two years ago, I had a very bad habit. I could not go to bed unless I had damyeon at night, right before I went to bed, which is also a kind of sleep habit. So let's talk about all of this in today's lesson, and let's begin with our first segment. It's time for Actual Talk. Oh gosh, Peter, you look more tired than usual. What's, what's going on? Yeah, I haven't yeah. got a lot of sleep lately. Yeah. Oh, to sleep perchance to dream. Why? Um, Why? Well, having the babies. babies. The babies definitely, yeah. right? You're a bit of a night owl, aren't you? Normally I'm a night owl, yeah. but the kids like to get up very early. Very early in the and morning, so you help around the house, obviously. That's good. I try to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any housework? Sure, yeah. yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, after they finally go to bed, then we start to make dinner and things like oh, that and prepare nice. for their next day. On the off chance you do get to go to bed, do you dream usually, do you think? I mean, everyone I, dreams. everybody dreams. Yeah, I I don't often remember my dreams. Mm -hmm. I think the only time I really remember them is when I take a nap in the afternoon, oh, which is rare. A siesta. Yeah. <laughs> Very rare. I think ten minute naps are good, but once it hits that thirty minute mark, I tend to get groggy when I get up. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, when I do dream, I tend to dream about riding fast cars and riding horses across fields and stuff. But I do want to dream about falling from the sky. Apparently. You get taller if you dream like that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. That would be nice for me, definitely. I do you know, Maybe need to you get can taller. control your dreams. And... No, if I could, I'd love to. Mm. But yeah, I don't get to sleep much these days, so I've got too much work going on. Mm. Do you, you have know? insomnia as well? or? I do. I have developed insomnia because of my um, uh, sleeping habits. I don't get to bed at the same time each day. Right. Um, any uh, recommendations for any good cures for insomnia uh, there well, there's always drugs but <laughs> other than that yeah Any uh, natural cures. some people say some warm milk um right. or just getting some exercise during the day in sunlight will help you that's all good but i think getting to sleep getting to bed at the same time each day would be the best yeah, yeah. i can't wait to go to bed tonight <laughs> yeah welcome back everyone did you enjoy today's actual talk uh, today's talk was between Peter and Joanne, and yes, they were talking about today's topic, which happens to be sleep or sleep habits. Now, what did Peter say? He did mention that he has been having difficulty getting a good night's sleep lately. That is, of course, obviously due to his little boys, his two little sons, and he wishes that he can really sleep well. They also talked about taking a nap or naps during the day, which is also called a siesta, and how Joanne wishes that she would dream a certain dream, which was to, yeah, fall from the sky or perhaps from a tall building because she believes, or people say in Korea, that you grow taller if you have those kinds of dreams. They also talked about some cures or natural cures um, if you have insomnia possible ways to get a good night's sleep. So let's take a look at the dialogue line by line together. Now, of course, Joanne begins by saying, oh gosh, Peter, you look more tired than usual, okay? So more tired is what she is pointing out. And she asks, what's going on, right? Now, Peter says, I haven't got a lot of sleep lately. 
Now the correct form would be, I haven't gotten a lot of sleep lately, which basically means he has not been sleeping well these days. He has not been getting enough sleep these days. And he says, ah, to sleep, perchance to dream. Now this is actually a speech. This is a very famous quote, as you may know from the play Hamlet, you know, um, where you may hear the to be or not to be speech. So this is what you will hear from that play. It basically, in the play, uh, he's talking about afterlife. You know, of course, sleep in that case in the play refers to death and of course perchance to dream is perhaps the dreams of a very dreamy afterlife. But in this case, he is saying to sleep perchance to dream basically if only I could really sleep, I could dream. Okay, so he's hoping that he could really get a good night's sleep. And then he says, well, having babies, that's the problem. Uh, Joanne says, you're a bit of a night owl, aren't you? Now, what is a night owl? Okay, I think in Korean, an owl is an ulpemi, right? So a night owl basically refers to a person that goes to bed very late at night, a night person in other words. So if you go to bed early, you would not be a night owl. If you tend to go to bed, let's say at 12 o'clock in the morning or one or two in the morning, you're definitely a night owl. So anyhow, so Joanne asks Peter, so you're a night owl, aren't you? What did he say? Normally, right? Normally, I'm a night owl, but the kids like to get up very early, okay? Now, to get up, means to, of course, wake up in the morning, to get up early in the morning. And he says, after they finally, okay, this is after, they finally go to bed, then we start to make dinner and prepare for the next day. So basically, Peter is talking about what happens after his kids, his children, his two little boys go to bed, him and his wife, they make dinner and prepare for the next day. Now Joanne says, ah, that's nice. And then she says, on the off chance you get to go to bed, do you dream usually? Okay, so we'll be taking a look at off chance. Off chance basically means a slight chance, a very little chance, okay? So off chance, on the off chance you get to go to bed, do you dream usually? So. Peter said, well, I don't often remember my dreams. I think we can all say this, you dream, I dream, we all dream, but many times we don't remember our dreams. And then he says, the only time I really remember them is when I take a nap in the afternoon, which is rare, okay. So he's saying the only time I remember my dreams is perhaps when I take a nap in the afternoon, which is rare. Rare is the opposite of what? Often. So he's saying he rarely, he does not take a nap very often, but when he does, he normally dreams and he remembers those dreams. Now, Joanne says, ah, oh, a siesta. Okay, so we've got the word siesta here. She's talking about a siesta. A siesta, you may have heard of it. It's basically a short rest or a nap that people take after uh, a midday meal, perhaps. And then she says, I think a 10 minute nap or 10 minute naps are good. But once it hits that 30 minute mark, I tend to get groggy when I get up. Now, let me point this out to you. The underlined phrases or words means we'll be taking a look at those expressions in just a bit. And of course, words such as groggy, we'll take a look at the definition and definitely for the pronunciation of the words. Anyhow, so they're talking about a siesta or a short nap during the day. And she says, I think 10 minute naps are good, but once it hits that 30 minute mark, once it becomes 30 minutes later, in other words, I tend to get groggy when I get up. Get up in this case is, that's right, wake up from your sleep. Groggy is kind of like a grouchy. So I'll give you some more examples in a bit. So she's basically saying after she takes a nap, 
She wakes up after perhaps 30 minutes later and she doesn't feel too good. Okay, moving on. She says, when I do dream. Now, why is the D-O capitalized? I capitalized it for you because the way Joanne said it was, when I do dream, when I do dream, you are emphasizing it, you are stressing it, okay? So when I do dream, I tend to dream about riding fast cars and riding horses across fields, but I want to dream about falling from the sky. She's talking about dreams that she usually has in general and a kind of dream that she hopes to dream, okay, falling from the sky. Now, Peter says, maybe you can control your dreams. Not easy, but possibly. Now, Joanne says, if I could, I would love to. I'd love to, but I don't get to sleep much these days. So, uh, say for example, you may be busy with a lot of work or even homework, and if you don't get enough sleep or as much sleep as usual, you can say, I don't get to sleep much these days, okay? And then she gives her reason. I've got too much work going on. I've got too much work to do these days, all right? And then let's move on and see what else they talk about. Peter says, do you have insomnia as well? Insomnia is basically a very hard, well, difficulty uh, falling asleep. If you can't fall asleep at night, or if you fall asleep but you wake up very easily, you may have insomnia. It's difficulty falling asleep. 불면증, for example. And then she says, I have developed insomnia. Because of what? Because of my sleeping habits. Bad sleeping habits, yes, well, they are not very good for you. And she says, I don't get to bed at the same time each day. And then she asks, any recommendations for good natural cures for insomnia? So she's asking Peter, do you have any recommendations? Do you know of any cures that will help uh, from, well, well, that will help me go to bed, okay? Cures for insomnia. And Peter says, some people say, this is what he's heard. So he says, well, I've heard, or some people say, warm milk, or just getting some exercise and sunlight during the day will help you. And then Rachel says, that's all good, but I think getting to bed at the same time each day would be the best. And of course, Peter agrees. He says, yeah, I can't wait to go to bed tonight. So it's true. He said that he has not been getting enough sleep these days, so he's really hoping to get a good night's sleep. All right then, everyone, let's take a listen to the actual talk one more time. Oh gosh, Peter, you look more tired than usual. What's, what's going on? Yeah, I yeah. haven't got a lot of sleep lately. Yeah. Oh, to sleep perchance to dream. Why? Um, Why? Well, having the babies. babies. The babies definitely, yeah. right? You're a bit of a night owl, aren't you? Normally I'm a night owl, yeah. but the kids like to get up very early. Very early in the uh, morning, so you help around the house, obviously. That's good. I try to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any housework? Sure, yeah. yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, after they finally go to bed, then we start to make dinner and things like oh, that and prepare nice. for their next day. On the off chance you do get to go to bed, do you dream usually, do you think? I mean, everyone I, I, dreams. everybody dreams. Yeah, I I don't often remember my dreams. Mm -hmm. I think the only time I really remember them is when I take a nap in the afternoon, oh, which is a rare. Siesta. Yeah. <laughs> Very rare. I think ten minute naps are good, but once it hits that thirty minute mark, I tend to get groggy when I get up. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, when I do dream, I tend to dream about riding fast cars and riding horses across fields and stuff. But I do want to dream about falling from the sky. Apparently. You get taller if you dream like that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. That would be nice for me, definitely. I you do know, need to get taller. Maybe you can control your dreams. And... No, if I could, I'd love to. Mm. But yeah, I don't get to sleep much these days, so I've got too much work going on. Mm. Do you have yeah. insomnia as well? or I do. I have developed insomnia because of my um, uh, sleeping habits. I don't get to bed at the same time each day. Right. Um, any uh, recommendations for any good... Cures for insomnia? Uh, there, well, there's always drugs, but <laughs> <laughs> other than that, yeah. Any uh, natural cures. Some people say some warm milk. Um, 
or just getting some exercise during the day in sunlight will help you. That's all good, but I think getting to sleep, getting to bed at the same time each day would be the best. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to go to bed tonight. <laughs> yeah. Now it's time for today's actual expressions. As I did mention, you have seen some words in our actual talk conversation which were marked in a different color, right? So we'll take a look at those words and also go over the pronunciation and then move on to some extra expressions you can make use of the next time you talk about today's topic, which happens to be sleep or sleeping habits. First of all, we did talk about siesta. A siesta is what? It's a rest or a short nap that people take in, for example, Spain or Latin America after a midday meal, perhaps sometime in the afternoon. Pronunciation is siesta, siesta. So it's more of a T-U-H, a uh, sound, siesta. One more time, siesta. Good job. And there was the word groggy, right? So the stress goes on the first syllable. It is groggy, groggy. Synonyms are sluggish, uh, sluggish, lethargic. Basically, it is a feeling of uh, maybe um, weakness after you wake up. You feel sluggish, lethargic after a nap. You can say, I feel groggy. Another one is insomnia. We all know what insomnia is, but let's check out the pronunciation. The stress goes on som, so it's insomnia, insomnia. Okay, and another word for that word is sleeplessness. Okay, then let's move on to some expressions. There was off chance, remember? It meant a slight chance. Here is a sentence using off chance. The sun is shining. Okay, it's very sunny today, but take an umbrella with you on the off chance that it might rain, okay? So just in case it rains, take an umbrella. There is a slight chance of rain, so take an umbrella with you. One more time. The sun is shining, but take an umbrella with you on the off chance that it might rain. Okay, another one. I got a new suit on the off chance of getting the job. So perhaps you went to a job interview and you think you might get the job. So you can say there is a slight chance of getting the job. So I got a new suit on the off chance, just in case, with a slight chance of getting the job. Okay, all right, let's move on and take a look at a so-and-so minute nap. Now, Rachel men mentioned something about 30-minute naps, right? So, here is a sample sentence. My mother often takes a 20-minute nap after lunch. Remember, you should always say a 20-minute, a 10-minute, a five-minute nap. So, a 20-minute nap. Another one, I would give anything for an hour nap right now. If you're really, really tired, you can say, I would give anything for, remember, an hour nap. For example, let's change it to maybe half an hour. I would give anything for a 30-minute nap. So, please do keep those in mind. Let's check out one more expression. Hit the something mark. Remember, after I hit the 30-minute mark, I tend to feel groggy, is what they mentioned in the dialogue. So, to hit the something mark means to reach a certain point or level. To help you understand, here is a sample sentence. Once my nap hits the 30-minute mark, I feel much better, which means once I take a nap for 30 minutes, 30 minutes later, I feel much better, okay? And one more sample sentence. The temperature hit the 39 degrees centigrade mark this summer. It was unbearable. It was unbearably hot. Excuse me, that should have been a Y. So you can say, oh, it was unbearable or it was unbearably hot. So a certain uh, temperature can reach a certain degree or a certain mark. You can also take a nap and hit a certain minute mark as well. So keep these expressions in mind and let's move on to our next segment. <music> Act 
At night, I tend to be a restless sleeper. I don't really get a good night's rest. Um, I'm not sure why, but ever since I can remember, I would toss and turn a lot at night. I do know that when I exercise, however, I do get a much better sleep at night. I sleep like a baby at those times. Um, some other sleeping habits that I have, I tend to sleep or go to bed early. Um, around 10 o'clock, my eyes start getting uh, gr drowsy and groggy, and I'm usually in bed by 11. Um, and in that sense, I'm more of an early bird rather than a night owl. I like to wake up early in the morning um, because I believe that the early bird gets the worm. Um, but other than that, I am not a very uh, deep sleeper, so I need to find more ways where I can get a good night's rest. All right, everyone, in today's actual story, Rachel told us about her sleep habits. What did she say? She doesn't sound like she is a deep sleeper and she has difficulty going to bed at night. She tries to go to bed quite early as she is more of an early bird. She is not a night owl, right? Uh, what did she mention? She goes to bed around 11 p.m., tends to wake up early in the morning. So let's check out the things she said in today's actual story, all right? Here we go with the first one. I tend to be a restless sleeper. Restless. But if you pronounce the word a bit quickly, naturally, you may not hear the T. So it could sound like restless. Restless. A restless sleeper basically is a person that has difficulty sleeping, uh, difficulty getting a really, really deep sleep. And she says, I don't really get a good night's rest or a good night's sleep, you can say as well, all right? Moving on to what else she said. She talked about exercising and how she normally could sleep better once she exercises. When I exercise, I get much better sleep at night. And she said, I sleep like a baby at those times. What does to sleep like a baby mean? Well, to sleep like a baby. How do babies sleep? They sleep very, very well, right? And they fall into a deep sleep. So if you sleep well, and if you tend to fall into a very deep sleep, you can say, I sleep like a baby. Okay, let's check out what else she said. She says, I'm usually in bed. In bed? What does that mean? It basically means I go to bed. I'm in bed, ready to go to sleep. I'm in bed by a certain time. When? 11. And I'm more of an early bird. Here we have the opposite of a night owl rather than a night owl. Okay, so here we go. So she's basically giving us information about at what time she normally, usually, or generally goes to bed and what she is, what type of person she is. She is not a night owl. She is an early bird. All right, we do have one more to check out. I am not a very deep sleeper. Okay, I did mention the word deep several times today. Now, if you are a deep sleeper, it means that you fall into a very deep sleep. You may fall asleep quickly, and once you do, you don't wake up in the middle of the night. A lot of deep sleepers sleep like a baby. They get a good night's rest or a good night's sleep. She also mentioned, so I need to find more ways where I can get a good night's rest. Now, so she is not a deep sleeper, so she needs to find ways, things to do, things she could do or cures that will help her get a good night's rest. All right, everyone. Well, hopefully you don't have any trouble going to bed at night, and I hope that you all sleep well tonight so that you'll feel more energetic tomorrow. And that is a wrap for today's actual story. At night, I tend to be a restless sleeper. I don't really get a good night's rest. Um, I'm not sure why, but ever since I can remember, I would toss and turn a lot at night. I do know that when I exercise, however, I 
do get a much better sleep at night. I sleep like a baby at those times. Um, some other sleeping habits that I have, I tend to sleep or go to bed early. Um, around 10 o'clock, my eyes start getting uh, drowsy and groggy, and I'm usually in bed by 11. Um, and in that sense, I'm more of an early bird rather than a night owl. I like to wake up early in the morning um, because I believe that the early bird gets the worm. Um, but other than that, I am not a very uh, deep sleeper, so I need to find more ways where I can get a good night's rest. Now, I would say I am quite the opposite of Rachel because she did mention in today's actual story that by maybe 10 o'clock in the evening, uh, she feels drowsy. Drowsy meaning starts to feel sleepy. And my eyelids tend to feel really, really heavy at around 3 or 4 in the morning. So I am definitely a night owl. I am not an early bird. I go to bed late at night and uh, I tend to wake up late in the morning as well. Well, of course, that is if I do not have a morning job. So perhaps the next time you talk to someone or if by chance you have an interview in English and you were asked to talk about your sleep habits, what you can do is begin by talking about what type of person you are, if you are an early bird or a night owl, um, if you can function well during the day, in the morning or even better in the late hours of the day. You can also mention the hours you sleep or what time you go to bed what time you normally wake up in the morning, and what kind of sleeper you are. Are you a deep sleeper or not? Do you tend to dream? Do you tend to remember your dreams? Have you ever had insomnia? You know, there are countless things to talk about when talking about sleep and sleep habits. So perhaps you can do that. Oh, you can also talk about tossing and turning at night. All right. Anyhow, that is a wrap for today's lesson. I'll be joining you back next time with another habit to talk about. We'll focus on eating habits. So first of all, think about what kind of eating habits you have, and that is for our next lesson. In the meantime, come to our homepage, find your way over to www.ebse.co.kr and post up comments, feedback, anything. And also while you're there, check out our scripts as well from every single lesson. Okay, everyone, thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.